Welcome to John's Model Making. Today we got the 1966 Batmobile from Fanhome. Issues 3 to 5. Excellent stuff. I love the size of these uh, magazines. Really, just like comics. Excellent stuff. Here we have the parts. There's 5. There's 4. Uh, that's the windscreen. That'll be a very quick issue, that one. And there's 3. Excellent. We got an LED in here as well. I don't think we got a tester with it though. Um, I can't remember if we got a tester anyway, to be honest, uh, to test the LED. But you never know, we might find something. Anyway, let's have a look at phase three. Here we go. Phase three Fine Feathered Finks, Burgess Meredith, brilliant. The Penguin, comics, the TV show, original Batman. Looking brilliant, love it. And your care parts. Phase 3. In this phase, you'll put together the roll bar, complete with a beacon and emergency bat turn lever. Excellent stuff. There we go. There's a little part locator. Lots of parts. So I won't read them, mate. There we go. And we have oh, quite a few step by step instructions. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. And there we are. Completing the roll bar. And that is the result. Excellent. So without further ado, let's get on with the build. Here we have the parts. Let's get them out. There we go. Those are the parts. We have the roll bar top and bottom. We have the emergency back turn lever, which is here. We have the handle, which is there. And then we have the base, the emergency back turn lever bracket, the beacon cover and lens, beacon LED bracket, left dome lens, right dome lens, left dome lens stock, right dome lens stock. Roll bar like cup, roll bar like lens, roll bar like bracket, a beacon LED, AM, ACM, and NP screws. Excellent. That's a lot of bit, bits and bobs. Okay, so first thing we need are these on the sprues. We have to pop these together. Going to get these off the sprues. Yeah, look a bit delicate, but they're nicely coloured. Excellent. Okay, now let's uh, cut these off. Nice sharp scalpel. And we can do the same with these. There we go. Pop that to one side. And all I do is pop these into here so they sit in flush i think it is i don't want to go through for me is it my fingers get in there <laughs> there we go that's what it should end up looking like like that so it is nice and flush and you got that that end sticking out there excellent let's do it with them all See, got a little bit of excess on that. These do go better in on an angle. There we go, pop it through there, and then we go. There are the red piece that is. There we go, leave that like that. Now we need to pop these onto the roll bar and get them lined up. <laughs> okay so here we have this is metal this the roll bar excellent and these basically pop into here little grooves there like that and need all four oh that one's come off now all four into here Get them in. There we go. And then we clamp them into place with um, O3P. So, get that there. And stay there. Why won't you go in? Oh, your brothers do. 
There we go. Finally managed to get all four in place. Now we need this bracket here, which just fits over the top. And there we go. We'll keep them clamped into position. And we need, what was it? ACM screws for that. Pop a little bit right on there. Keep that in place there. I should hold that there like that. There we go. Excellent. All that for that little bit of detail. It does look brilliant though, I must admit. <laughs> but so fiddly. And you put the uh, uh, red lines in on an angle through the hole because it won't go straight through. Brilliant. <laughs> Let's move on. Next we need O3G, which is this beacon cover. You can see two holes there, two pegs. And that will just line up like that. Then we need the lens, which will pop into there. There we go. Excellent. Now we need the LED. There we go. So we need the lens, um, the cover, sorry, and the LED. Pop the LED into there. I think that's as far as that will go down. So we can push it a little bit further in. Yep. And we can bend the legs down through that gap. Just like that. Excellent. That should go into here. Let me get this the right way around. Get that there like so. We have got a clamp for this. So we have the LED and its cover. There we go. Into here like so. And then this bracket over the top like that with a large peg facing us. And then we need two AM screws. Now I've popped a little bit of oil on that one. Right, get that into position again. There we go. Excellent. That's going to look superb when it's on. Brilliant. There we go. Emergency back turn lever. Next we need all 3 c and all 3 e This is for the back turn lever. That pops it into there like so. Pop that to one side when you want the other side of this. And we just pop that through there like so. Then we want the handle which is all 3 d and pop that into there. There we go. I didn't think that wanted to go then. That was very, very tight. But it does look brilliant. You can see the hand grip on there as well. That looks fantastic. Anyway, let's move on. Next we need this piece back again. And we need these two pieces. All 3 m and all 3 l That one has L on it. That one has R on it. Just stamps inside. And... I believe I've got this the right way around. So all three L will go here and all three M will go there like that. And we fix them together with NP screws. Let's get the screws out. Okay, now we'll do this one at a time. Get that lined up and hopefully we'll get the first screw into place. See, these are only thin screws, these. I think that's where it's back. Is it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Try that again. They do seem to be at an angle to get into place these screws. I think that's got it. Let's get the other one in. 
that one goes there like so and then we can screw it into place with two NP screws There we go. That's them two pieces. All three M and all three L implies. Okay, well, next thing we need are the two lenses. This one does have an L in it, and this one does have an R in it. Very difficult to see, but you know, get them the right way around. There we go. That is all three K and all three J. Excellent. You might want to glue them into place, but what I would use is uh, some PVA glue or similar. Don't use super glue on it, whatever you do. I think they'll, then it won't necessarily fall off, which they haven't. But anyway, now we can pop this into place. And the LED comes through there, that hole here. You can see there's a channel there for it. I don't think they've given us any tape. But uh, you could use your own tape, I suppose. So it fits just like that. I'll just take that off. Right. See that there? Pushes. Goes into the middle there, like that. That bat turn handle. There we go. So that will actually turn around. And it's just a matter of lining the rest up. Um, pop it into place you may want to dress that lead but then again you may not need to because that seems to be nice and flush there but we need AM screws for this two here one there and one there be mindful this cable doesn't go into that screw hole there so I'm going to pop some tape on mine there we go I pop some tape keep that where keep the uh, LED lead away from that screw hole and then we can pop this back onto here and get it all screwed into place here's your peace of mind pop this one in first this is an AM screw there we go that's that in place and that back turn lever does turn and there you can see that lens has come off so I think we'll have to glue that in to place there we go that goes back on there i'll get some glue for that there we go that is yep there we go that lens is back in place now there is that back turn lever it rotates all the way which is brilliant and i suppose we could test this and see if i've got a tester for it okay oh, i found a tester plugged it in Oh, there we go. Excellent stuff. That looks brilliant. Lovely jewelry. Let's move on to phase four. And here we have phase four. Oh, Burgess is still in the comics. There's Adam West. And original Batman. Excellent artwork. And here we have the car parts. Phase 4, in this phase you will reinforce the windshield with a small support on either side of the part. Left, right, there we go, that is it. So without further ado, let's get on with the build. Here we have the parts, there we go, those are the parts, that has L on it, that has R on it, those two brackets, uh, but we need to be careful when we're taking this out. There we go, pop that to one side, oh that looks brilliant. Could do a cover in that really. So that one is left and that one is right. Yeah, so we need this piece on this side, two little holes, two pegs, and pop that. Into place. Well, that's a toughie. Try not to touch that screen. And the left one, uh, sorry, the right one on the right side. There we 
There we go. One goes in perfect. Straight away, the other one didn't. So there we go. That is phase four. And that is that side. And that is that side, which is the right side. Looking excellent. Got detail on there. Brilliant. Let's move on to phase five. Okay, now moving on to phase five. Oh, we have the Joker. Yes, excellent character. Love him in all the comics and the films. There it is. The comic side of it. Of the mag. Your car parts. In this phase, you begin working on the Batmobile's engine, starting with a gearbox and starter motor. Excellent. So the bell housing, housing plate, bell housing connector, gearbox connector, starter, starter connector A and B, a cable and CMDM FP screws. Excellent. There we go. Preparing the cables. There we go. And that is what we're left with. So without further ado, let's get on with the build. Here we have the parts. There we go. Those are all the parts. Now, first of all, we need... 05B and 05C. 05C is that piece. Fits through that hole there. We need to fix that with two FP screws. So this is the start of the engine. And pop one FP screw in there. Do love doing an engine build. Excellent. There we go. And we need this piece, which is metal. Excellent. We need O5D. That goes through that slot there. Like that. There we go. So it comes out there, like so. And we need DM screws. We need two DM screws. There we go, that's the first one. Put the end of that into some oil. Get it in supplies. That one's going to be a toughie. I can feel it already. There's no movement in that. So that should be fine. That. Okay, now we need to put these two together. That goes on there like so. We need CM screws for this. First one into there. What is it with these location points and the screws? Why are they not going in straight away? There we go. These things are sent to try us. There we go. What's that bell housing? That's a lovely colour as well. Is it not? Now we need to cut this into two pieces, 60mm and 70mm. There we go, let's see that's at the end there. I'll just give it a tad more. There we go, that should be enough. And this one needs to be 70mm. Well that's a lot, lot more. Yeah, that one's 60 mil. So I'll we'll clip that down in a minute. First of all, we need these two pieces. We need all five F out of here, which I believe is this little piece here. There we go. It has some detail on it. It has a nut on it, so that can go there like so. And then this end goes into here. Just like that. That may need some glue in the future. And then the rest of this will go on to here. Like that. And I believe this goes on to here. In that hole just there. So I get that into that hole just there. There you can just about see it. I'll move it around a little bit. There we go. Black connector for the starter motor and put that 
Well, I will pop it into place. There we go. That's the start motor for that connector. I may have to crop that down a little bit. Well, there we go. That is phase five completed. Excellent. That bell housing starter motor with that pipe. There is phase four. And here we have phase three. Get them all in shot. There we go. Looking excellent. And you've seen the test for that LED and there's that bat turn handle. <laughs> excellent stuff. Love that bat turn handle. I've not put glue on these yet, but I will do very, very shortly. Excellent stuff. So that is phases three to five of the 66 Batmobile. Lovely jubbly. Well, there we go, guys. See, we have, there we go. There's that road bar. That's nice and, I don't think mine's marked actually. Oh, that'll get covered anyway, I think. There we go. That looks superb, that. There's the back turn handle. Yeah. Turns all the time. <laughs> that was a little bit difficult to get into place, that. You're always afraid of snapping anything. But best to keep it pressed down onto the desk and you're away. And these little lenses, flipping heck. They were so, so fiddly. Unreal. But anyway, there we go. There is the back shield. <laughs> There's that bellows in and there's that starter motor. That's pretty bland. Oh, well, it's a nice, lovely colour. Excellent with them two supports on either side. Excellent. So that is it for uh, this, uh, it, well, these three issues anyway. I'm not sure when the next one is going to turn up. I know we got an email saying that they were going to be 20 days late, but I don't think these were actually 20 days late. But package three, you never know, very well might be. So it could be... Oh, we're four, five, six, seven weeks. Yeah, about seven weeks off before the next lot come along. But we'll wait and see. You never know. Anyway, if you did like that, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time for the next three issues. Brilliant. Lovely jubbly. Absolutely loving this. It looks absolutely fantastic. You know, you'll, uh, look at the magazines, and they look. I mean, I love this. I love the size of that. You know, I love the content. You know, you can see the car on the back and it looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it takes me back to my days as a lad. Anyway, there we go. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Stay safe. Bye for now.